So I am backstage at the Vivian Westwood Spring Summer 22 and we are using Byredo products today to create all the makeup looks. So one of the hero products is a Mad Red, which is this kind of very vibrant raspberry red. We're creating a really kind of wet look. So one of the other products that we're using, can I borrow it, the Purple Stinger, is this Purple Stinger, which is this very kind of shiny, bluish purple that we'll be using on eyelids and lips. We're taking inspiration from an old Vivian Westwood show called Tied to the Mast, which was about kind of shipwreck and pirates. So one of the models will be having a really kind of wet full head of drippy water that will look really amazing and look like he's just stepped out of the sea. This purple sting is really great because it kind of creates that freezing being in water for hours effect. So we're kind of using a lot of the products in a creative way to really help build that narrative. So I am just creating this icicle effect with like a special effects product that creates icicles and water. So I'm, uh, I'm basically just kind of like rolling the material and just attaching it to the ends of her hair, the ends of these braids. So it looks like she's just jumped into the sea and they've frozen onto the ends. I was inspired by, you know, this theme of being tied to the mast, being out at sea, something very watery trying to make it feel somewhat controlled but also a bit random and I think the drips look really really beautiful they're almost like bits of jewellery or something a little bit sparkly that just catches the light and I think that's quite pretty. For Timmy's makeup I'm going for something a little bit more glam like a classic red lip because I really love this new um, Byredo Mad Red it's like a bit of a raspberry shade so it doesn't feel like a super classic red, it feels a little bit different. Um, and it looks really great on her and then I've kind of uh, enhanced the kind of wetness of her skin with the lip balm and also some kind of like dewy serums to give her that jumped out of the water feel. <laughs> For this look we've created this crawled out of the sea and onto the ship. <laughs> Looks. <laughs> this is the name of it, just crawled out of the sea. Uh, the shipwreck look where we've put this kind of resin in that's gonna look wet all day so that he's kind of like the hero character. And then we've just like kept his face very wet and we'll probably add to that during the day and the hair is kind of wet as well so it all blends in nicely together. So for Georgia's look, we are using two hero products. We're using the Byredo Corporate Colour Palette, just uh, this kind of ready shade in the middle around her eyes, and then we're going over with one of the lip balms. On Georgia's lips, we've used Subtropical, just to kind of bring out a little bit of coral, and we've also used it in her cheek, and it's a reference from the Tie to the Mask collection. I'm using a bit of waterproof mascara, um, because I've, I've put a bit of um, gloss on her eyelids so I kind of want something that isn't gonna start running um, and a waterproof mascara is really good for that because when it sets it sets and you can use kind of like liquidy products around it and it's not gonna run set now shooting the group shot where everyone's together in one of their hero looks so you can come through and have a look and see what we're doing. I love about working with Vivian Westwood is the fact that you can kind of always see a development every season with their clothes and the tailoring. Whenever we shoot it always feels really fun because we have a really amazing cast of characters and it's always very characterful based rather than just kind of a generic look on everyone. I met Vivian and Andreas, god, maybe five years ago now, I forget, maybe more. Um, and I met them at their studio and we just had a chat about working together and um, I shot a lookbook with them and I remember 
burying someone in a huge mountain of soil <laughs> was one of the looks and it kind of felt really good to be working with a team that was, you know, fun and creative. And then ever since then I've been working on their shows, I feel very much part of a family which is great and you see the same people every time you work with them and it's very kind of, you know, loyal and close and really nice. So the way that we usually work is kind of based on the characters because it's really important that the models or the talent can really like embody a character and be themselves and bring something else to the clothes. They're not just static. There's often a lot of movement in the campaign images and they're often doing like silly things or fun things or there are group shots. And um, I think the casting is really important to Vivian Westwood because she's also passionate about the people that she works with and what they represent. And so when we approach the makeup, sometimes there's a bit of a theme going on. Today we've talked about the theme, but also it's really important that the makeup look feels very particular to the model that's wearing it and really suits them and they feel kind of their best in it. And I love working with Vivian Westwood because I feel like it's a very, very genuine brand and group of people that are behind it. And, you know, Vivian has a very, very strong message and she's never diluted it and she doesn't dilute it within the clothes and with her casting and within her sort of personal work and her political work. And so it's just nice to be part of something that feels very intense and genuine and has a very, very powerful but positive message. So that is a wrap for the Vivian Westwood Spring Summer 22 collection. I hope you enjoyed watching what we get up to backstage and I will see you next time.